Hello and welcome to another yoga session with me. This time we're going to do more of a power flow which is going to be a sweaty workout as opposed to a more relaxing and stretch. We're going to start off slow and then slowly we're going to get into quick movements as we're stretching our body out. So this is something that I do or I used to do at least once a week. I haven't done it in a while but it's one of my favorite workouts. If you want to just have a quick flow um, and get all your body parts moving this is what I definitely recommend to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off slow as I mentioned. We're going to start into child's pose and from here we're going to move around. Make sure we're stretching out, we're relaxing moving our shoulders, trying to lengthen as much as we can, putting our head down. We're breathing deeply from child's pose. We're going to sit on our feet. We're going to sit here for a few seconds. Make sure we get our breathing in tow. back into child's pose, moving around. From child's pose, we're gonna get into a tabletop. Again, move around, sway your hips. Go from child's pose to tabletop. Just get lumber for our workout. From tabletop, we're gonna go into cat cow a few times. We're going to count our breaths, not really our movements. Oh, this is where we crack everything, getting ready for our workout. If you want, you can go into circles. Really feel your body moving, stretch out what you need to stretch. From tabletop, we're going to go into upward dog, stretch out our core, stretch out our neck, our arms. Back into child's pose. Child's pose to downward dog again, or upward dog, sorry. Move around into tabletop, cat cow. into upward dog from upward dog we're going to go into our first downward dog again pedaling out stretching everything out make sure you go deeper from downward dog we're going to go into upward dog From upward dog back into downward dog from downward dog we're going to go into three-legged dog try to bring your heel to your butt bring your right knee to your right elbow bring it back out right knee to left elbow bring it back up bring our foot our right foot to our right hand into a lunge position, put your knee down, bring your arms up. Then we're going to lengthen our front foot. Then we're going to move forward back into a lunge, open up our hips, back out, stretch our hamstrings out stretch out our hips once more going to lift the back foot bring our right foot all the way back up into three-legged dog bring our foot down into downward dog and we're going to go into upward dog slowly press down you're almost doing a push-up position from upward dog going to go back into 
child's pose. Make sure you're breathing properly. You're almost going to get into the workout portion. We're going to do everything again on the other side. From child's pose, we're going to go into downward dog. Stretch everything out. From downward dog, we're going to lift our left foot. Try to bring our heel to our butt. Left foot to left elbow. Back up. Left foot to right elbow. Back up. Bring our left foot to our left hand into a lunge. Bring your arms back, stretch it out. Lengthen your front foot. Stretch out your hamstring. Stretch out your hips, lean forward. Open up your hip. Lengthen and stretch out your hamstrings once more. Stretch out your hips again. Open. And back foot opens up. Left foot comes all the way back up into downward dog. From downward dog, we're gonna walk our hands to the back of our mat into a fold position. We're gonna go up into sun salutation. Lean back. Open up your spine, open up your chest. Gonna fold forward again. Half fold, fold forward, sun salutation. Fold forward, walk our hands back out to downward dog. Stretch everything out. From downward dog, we're gonna go into upward dog, push up position, up into child's pose. Tabletop, we're going to a quick cat cow. Don't forget your breathing. This workout portion is going to speed up a little bit more as we get our body used to it. You should start feeling your pores opening up, not so much as a sweat so far, but your pores should be opening up. From tabletop, we're gonna go into downward dog. Walk our hands to the back of our mat. Go into a forward fold. Walk our hands back out. Downward dog, go low. Upward dog. Stay with me, because we're gonna get quick now. We're gonna go up to downward dog. Walk our hands back to the back of our mat, to a forward fold. Walk our hands back to downward dog. Upward dog, back into child's pose. Tabletop, from tabletop, downward dog, right leg back, into a lunge. Open up into warrior one, go back down, foot back up, three-legged dog, left foot up. Bring your left foot forward, go into warrior one, back down, downward dog. We're gonna go up to upward dog. Upward dog into child's pose. Child's pose into downward dog. Right foot up, into warrior one. From warrior one, gonna go into warrior two. Lean back, bring your hands up, and then lean forward, your elbow on your knees. If you can, link your arms together through your legs as I'm doing right here. If you can't, just stay leaning on your leg. If you have the flexibility and ability, bring your foot forward, and then using your balance, Stand up, if you can extend, extend. I'm not there yet. Slowly come back down to where your elbow is on your wrist. If you can't do that, just stay here. From here, 
we're gonna put our hands down step back into downward dog same thing on the other side left foot up into warrior one then to warrior two lean back bring your hand back elbow on your knee if you can link your hands go back forward i can't do it on this side so i'm gonna stay here with my arm on my knee hands down into downward dog downward dog walk your hands back to the end of the mat into forward fold then bring it up to a half fold back to forward fold hands up into sun salutation hands to heart and just rest here for a moment hands back up into sun salutation dive forward into forward fold walk your hands out to downward dog right leg up right leg forward to warrior one back down leg back downward dog same thing on the left side leg up forward warrior one Bring your hands back down into downward dog. From downward dog, we're gonna go into upward dog. Upward dog, two child's pose. Child's pose, two table. We're going to cat cow. Don't forget your breathing. And from tabletop, Go into downward dog. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Put your hands under your foot and stretch out your shoulders. Make sure you don't fall forward because your hands are compromised right now. If you can't, just touch the floor. Up into sun salutation. Forward fold. Half fold forward fold we're gonna walk our hands back out to downward dog from downward dog we're gonna take our right foot we're gonna kick it under our left foot kick our left foot over turn into side plank if you can lift your foot up great lift your foot up if you can't you can rest it here from side plank we're going to move hips up and down each breath three times from side plank go back into downward dog from downward dog into upward dog upward dog into child's pose i think you guys get the memo we're doing everything twice first side from downward dog we're going to go into tabletop tabletop to downward dog Kick our left foot under, remove our right foot out into side plank. If you can lift your foot up, again, great. If not, you can leave it here. We're going to pulse. One, two, three, one for good luck. Back into downward dog. From downward dog, walk your hands to the back of your mat. Into forward fold, up into sun salutation dive down into forward fold half fold forward fold sun salutation hands to heart relax here for one second from mountain pose we are going to open up our legs and we are going to put our hands to the ground, reach to each ankle and sit here for a good stretch. If you can put your elbows down, do that. If you can go into middle splits, also do that. We're going to move our left foot up, look up, 
head, your eyes reach past your hand. To the next hand, right arm up. You're looking past your hand. Stand forward, hands on hips. Chest out, posture is up. We're going to shift forward into warrior one. We're going to go into warrior two, kick our hands back out. Hands on knees. We're going to put our back knee down and we're going to stretch out like we did in the beginning, lengthen our front foot, stretch out our hamstrings, lean forward, stretching out your groin, move to the side, stretching out your hips, then back out for your hamstrings. And you're going to kick your knee back into tabletop, then into downward dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Sun salutation. Forward fold. Half fold. Back down. Arms up. Stretch and reach for the clouds. Bring your hands to heart. And rest here for a second. Then we are going to kick our left foot out. Do the same thing on this side. Hands forward, leaning down. Hands on ankles. From here, going to bring our right, our left arm up, look behind our hand. Come down, bring our right hand up, look behind our hand. Again, if you can go on your elbows, if you can go into splits, do that here. I'll give you guys a moment to adjust. We're going to come up. Put our hands on our hips, open up our chest. And then we're going to shift forward into warrior one. Warrior one to warrior two, hands back. Lean forward, hands on knees. Bring your back knee down. Lean forward, stretch out your groin. Lengthen your front foot, stretch out your hamstring. Back forward, open up your hips. From here, we're going to kick our leg back into downward dog, three-legged dog. Heel to butt. Knee to right elbow, back out, right knee to left elbow, back out, front leg crosses over under your chest into pigeon pose. Now we're going to sit in pigeon pose for a little. If you can, stretch out your quad by grabbing your foot. If you can, that's okay. Just stay in regular pigeon. I'm going to stretch my quads because they are sore. From pigeon pose, you're going to lift your back foot up, bring your knee up into three-legged dog, back into downward dog, left foot up, heel tries to touch your butt, left foot, left elbow, back out, left foot, right elbow, back out, left foot crosses in front of your chest into pigeon pose. We're going to grab our foot if we can to stretch out our quads. Make sure you're breathing. You're drinking water if needed. We're going to put our foot down, lift our back foot up, go back into downward dog. From downward dog, we're gonna walk our hands back out into forward fold. From forward fold, we're going to go into sun salutation. In sun salutation, we are going to grab right hand to right quad. We're going to stay here. If you can, go into dancer's pose. If you can't, just stick here on a regular quad stretch. 
If you need to grab a wall to help you balance, do that. Without touching the floor, we are going to bring our foot forward and stretch it out. Now, if you want a more advanced move, grab your foot, kick it out forward. This is gonna stretch your hamstring more. If you can't do that, it's okay. Hug your knee into your chest. Bring your foot down, left foot to left hand. Again, if you can, go into dancer's pose. If you can't, just stick here, hold on to a wall if you need. Without touching the floor, bring your knee forward to our chest. Again, if you want a harder exercise, grab your foot and extend your leg. If not, you can stick here. Bring your foot down. Sun salutation. Two forward fold and into half fold. Two forward fold again. Walk your hands back out to downward dog. Stretch it out, pedal it out. We're gonna go down into upward dog. Make sure you breathe, we're almost done. Upward dog, to child's pose. You can do regular child's pose or you can open up your knees and go into a deep child's pose, elbows to ground, head to the forehead to floor. And we're just gonna rest here for a few breaths while we bring our heart rate back down. From child's pose, we're going to sit back down. I'm going to open up our chest. Take a few more deep breaths here. And that's it. That's my flow. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is a more quicker paced. I would say more intermediate as opposed to advanced or beginner, um, especially with some of the poses that I did. Um, I have alternates that you guys can do. If you want, keep following along, like and subscribe. I'm going to be posting more of these kinds of videos to show my fitness journey. I am on a new fitness journey. Summer is coming, so I'm working towards that summer body. So I'm going to be showing a lot more fitness, a lot more lifestyle into how I'm trying to attain my goals. And from there, we will get the body that we've always wanted you and me included so i hope you guys had a great workout and i'll see you guys next time bye